Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So this is my 30 gallon planted live bear community tank. And I'm showing this today because I am now going to be adding some shrimp, some neocaridina shrimp or cherry shrimp. So in this bag, there's maybe at least six and I put some Sarah Onip treat tablets in here to keep the fish occupied and they'll go nuts trying to eat those because when I was first trying to look at this bag with shrimp in it they were getting in the way so they're occupied while well, they're pretty much almost finishing them up. You can see like it's, the water seems like dusty. With these tree tablets, like little particles kind of spray all over, which, you know, it's kind of good because then the, the guppy and platy fry can get some of uh, the spray. Platy is not looking too good. Which is a shame because this is one like of these marigold varietas platies. This one came out with like you know, looked more had some like blue coloring to him. But he looks like he'll be dying pretty soon. He's not looking so good. That's too bad. Yeah, so in this bag, there's one swimming that up there, one here, one here, there's at least six in there. So with, in the bag with them is Rickia fluotans. I dropped a clump of this in my Neocaridina shrimp tank, my three and a half gallon, um, where a population that of shrimp in there has grown enough like my plan all along was to get that population going and then and establish and then I'd move some to other tanks and this is the, the first one time moving shrimp to any of my tanks so a couple weeks ago I did put a clump of Ricky fluotans in in that tank and the the shrimp just were drawn to it and so I don't have any like a small shrimp net so I figured that I'd use that as a lure so I put this clump of Ricky fluotans in there and let the shrimp come to it and then I got the Ziploc bag and try to scoop some up and I have at least six in here so that's what I'm gonna start with these are gonna be the first ones to move to a new tank and when I do release them there's a strong possibility I may never see them again among them there's no big large adults maybe there's some medium-sized juveniles and some you know some smaller ones in here but None of them that are really big, so they could get eaten. But there is plenty of room for cover in here. There's lots of, you know, they can hide in this rock pile, which is, could make a good hiding spot for them. And I'll a whole bunch of bushy java moss and rookie of flu tans in here. So this is actually this is my hang on hang on the back filter. It's an AquaClear 50 with an intake sponge. So, you know, some people don't like you know, the looks of you know, sponge filters or spun, you know, intake sponges or whatever. But you can cover that. You know, I wrapped some java moss around it and it that stuff just grows and it 
It hides the sponge, the intake sponge, but and then it just kind of grown out of control. I have some Java moss over here with the Rickia fluotans at the top. And I did just do a water change and I pulled out a bunch of that because it was blocking the light every so often. I mean, this just multiplies. So this whole area was dark. So it's nice to see my Anubius Nana over here. This was the first plant, first live plant I've ever got. And I set up this tank last summer. And since then, the rhizome, this Bacopa plant is kind of in the way, but you can see the rhizome right here. That's probably quadrupled in size from when I first got it. I got this Amazon sword over here that's not really looking too good. Just wasn't getting any light. So we'll see that now that some light can get to it if it improves. And I think I'm gonna put a root tab in there. And look at my Cryptocorn Lutea. That stuff is spreading a lot and growing. I mean, it's, this tank is 16 inches high. So it's within a couple inches of the surface. I think it's, you know, growing a lot. Uh, here's some black beard algae growing on the edges of it. I don't really like that, but it is what it is. It's my. Neon Dwarf Garami. And here's my Roseline Shark or my Denison Barb. A couple names for it. So this fish I bought, I've had it for almost a year now. I bought it last year on Black Friday. 2017 so it's probably close to four inches now I'd say it might have been around two or two and a half inches when I bought it a year ago yeah it is a a schooling fish and it can grow up to six inches and this is a this tank is three feet long it's 30 gallon you know, it probably needs a bigger tank, and eventually I will get a bigger tank for it. I actually showed a um, a, vi a quick video of a, a six-foot tank that I saw at my local fish store recently. And in the future, that's a tank I plan to get, and I want to get a, a, a school of Roseland sharks and that so this will be moved to that when that time comes and right here this is my only auto sinkless the only one I have left I had as many I did have maybe four I think at a time that were Seem to be doing okay. This is the only one left. The others have died. I plan on getting more. I'm going to be, I expect I'll be better prepared this time because I have a, a quarantine tank that I have algae growing in it. So last time when I did get auto sinkless and I had them in a quarantine tank, there wasn't really any algae for them to eat. So while they spent time in quarantine, they might not have been, you know, had may not have had enough to eat, and you know, whether they were eating at the store before I even, before I got them, because I, you know, it's it's not uncommon for them to not be very healthy, so 
to get them to become healthy and thrive in your tank is kind of, you know, once they do, they can, they should be all right. So this one, you know, I've had for a while and it's doing fine. But to get them to that point can be moderately difficult. And here is my one and only last Julie Corridor, which is really unfortunate. You can see his, or his or hers, I don't know what the sex is, but the barbells are worn, which I think is the reason why the others died. They just got worn down, and that might have affected their health. But this um, substrate is a mixture of EcoComplete, which I guess can have some sort of sharp edges, but you know it ought to be okay for them. But I think the problem is where I have so many fish in here, and they're all always eating. So this, when this the auto synchronous, I mean not the corridor when try, trying to search for food they're kind of s scouring the bottom more and with their barbells into the sharper edges and getting their barbells like abrasions on their barbells like over and over and it just wears them down and that was you know one of the reasons why I, the main ideas I had to get with this tank was you know to get guppies and platies and neon tetras and corridors and I'd like you know being that this is the last one I did have as many as seven in here that were doing well together and they just you know died off one by one gradually and this is the last one and I would like to get more but I don't want them to have the same fate, so kind of what an idea I have like going forward is when I, you know, as I mentioned, the tank I want to get to put the get a school of roseline sharks, and I want to get a bunch of corridors in it too. I'll, I'll make sure that the substrate there is more rounded with smoother edges because I do. I actually have four corridors, bronze corridors in my 10 gallon mutt guppy tank and that's just regular um, gravel substrate that's you know not as like jagged as EcoComplete might be and their barbells are just fine and that's you know loaded with guppies and stuff so probably be a similar situation like scarring for food but their barbells are just fine oh yeah and um <clears throat> If you look at the back of the tank, it is black now. I used to have, used to be like blue. When I first set up, set up this tank, I got some poster paper. And at the time I did intend to get black, but they didn't have black. So I just got blue thinking that, you know, color of water you would think is blue would come to mind so I like all right thought it can be like a good background but eh, didn't really look natural and recently I got some black poster paper and replaced it and I think it looks better it looks more natural that way I think all right well let's see let's look at the, the shrimp in here if I can find any. There's one right there. That was one of the blue ones. That my Neocaridina shrimp tank, I have reds and blues. None of these in here are very colorful. You can see that one is blue compared to these that are red. But yeah. So, 
that's what's going on with my 30 gallon planted live bear community tank which is now going to have shrimp inhabitants now like I said I may or well, I might not see them again after I let them go but we're gonna try it and see if we can get a get a population established in here and I'll maybe every couple weeks or so as my population grows in my three and a half gallon tank I'll 